Hi guys. So um, we're back again with the sixth to tutorial for the modular sci-fi warriors pack. So um, this time around um, we're just gonna take a look at how we can add different types of metahuman heads to our character. In the last video we looked at how we could uh, add a male character so with this same male character uh, we're going to try and add a different head and not just a different head but a, a, a different head with a different body type okay so some of you have uh, tall meta humans tall male meta humans like the one I've got here but some of you may have um, medium height or you may have uh, the short short meta humans so um, some of the ways that you can work with this uh, this armor was actually built especially at the neck in order to fit any type of meta human head okay so even though you you've got a short character uh, you can still add the head to the body okay um, this this won't change the height if you if you add a short character to a tall character to the tall body it won't change the height mind you so um, you there's there's like a little bit of give and take here um, but since uh, this is a customization uh, customizable blueprint we made it actually contains a height adjuster so um, you can still be able to make your character shorter or taller and save that out okay but uh, the original body of whichever meta human character you you choose to add is irrelevant it will use this body and then with the customization you can try and adjust the height from there so we're gonna go ahead and see how we can do that um, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, this is the last blueprint we used um, in the last tutorial so I've got it open here so you just open the meta human blueprint uh, this will be the one that is parented to the advanced character this method will still work even though you are using a raw uh, and modified meta human blueprint all you have to do is add the armor to the body and then add the, the add the head from there it will adjust itself automatically so let's go for a short meta human character um, I've got a meta human character in here uh, named KG so I'm gonna look for that skeletal mesh for this this meta human character so I'm just gonna open that up yeah so as you can see um, this is a short uh, should be overweight meta human character so if I click on the body here and look at the source yeah short overweight character okay the body is totally different from from the tall uh, medium weight male so I can still get this head okay I'll choose the head and I'll look for it in the content browser and there is it there it is KG face mesh and I'll go to my blueprint with my character and my armor I'm just gonna replace this head I could possibly add it to a new skeletal mesh here but uh, it's better to replace it especially if you want to use some of those features that uh, MetaHuman comes with uh, probably like uh, the facial animation features and so so on and so forth so anyway I'm just gonna select the face and replace the skeletal mesh in there and as you can see it has it's added the new face, the new meta human head with no problems. There's no clipping and uh, it it just works like that. Okay. So this is the basic process of how you can you can do that. Okay. Um, so I guess compile that, save it out. Um, let's try and play with it, see if we do in fact have no issues drag it into the level and uh, I'll possess it set that to player zero and let's press play and see if everything is working in order and here we are 
So this is how you can quickly change um, the head of your metahuman regardless of the body type. So um, if you would like to adjust the height, um, there's actually a height scaler if you press C. And remember this is in the advanced character blueprint. Uh, if you press C, you can adjust the height, you can make him shorter, you can make him taller. Uh, this mainly works by uh, changing the le length of the bones. So yeah, well, basically that's it. Um, this is how you can uh, uh, use any meta human head on this character, on this character outfit. Okay, so there's just one last thing I would like to show you guys. Uh, in the case that you're not using uh, these outfits um, while parenting to the blueprints that are provided in this pack, uh, maybe you just want the outfits and a normal meta-human blueprint to use them with. So in that case, if we open just an average meta-human blueprint, um, as you can see, this is still a short body, okay, short overweight body. But what if you still want to put the armor on this average me meta human blueprint? Um, what you would have to do now is uh, let's find the armor in our content browser, and uh, let's try and add that here. Okay, so you can add it here, but it will adjust the skeleton. Okay, if we add it on the body, um, the skeleton will automatically uh, turn into the one for uh, the tall male character. Okay, it won't keep the short body. Okay, um, that's because, like I said earlier, this was m uh, originally built for the tall meta human body. So even though you can use it on any head, um, once you replace the body with the armor. Uh, everything will adjust to a taller uh, skeleton, the original skeleton. Okay, it will still work even with the animations and uh, all the rest of that. Um, but it will be the taller body. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any way we can really make this shorter without uh, taking it into an external software like uh, Blender or Maya or 3D Max. Um, we can actually try to like if I undo this um, we can place it below the body for example if I place it on one of the static meshes below the body it will adjust to the shorter skeleton okay so as you can see it's adjusted to the shorter skeleton but we're going to have some problems um, let me make this body invisible I'll type visibility out th up there and say I'll turn off the visibility and if you decide to use this, if you turn off the visibility, make sure you set it to always tick pose and to always tick pose and refresh bones. Okay. Um, so this won't be perfect. As you can see, there's already some issues which are visible here. As you can see, the armor over at the neck, uh, this has become exposed. Okay. So this isn't really a method that I would recommend. Um, most areas it's actually not that bad it's very usable but as you can see some of these other areas like this armor is clipping into the armor below and uh, everything else seems to be okay so what I do recommend is uh, uh, just using it with the taller body and uh, using the height adjusters if you are using the, the blueprints I created for this um, but otherwise this is also an option you could um, for example if you have no use for the helmets or something like that you could just take this into a s external software delete the the piece around the neck the neck or even readjust it and make it fit and everything else would be good to go yeah. so yeah even some other issues you may not notice uh, if you look around carefully uh, anyway, it looks mostly okay, but uh, not perfect. Okay. Uh, anyway, just wanted to let you know that that's also an option. You don't you, you don't necessarily just have to use the tall body. If you can take this out of 
out of uh, Unreal Engine and make just some tiny little modifications, you should be able to use it on this body as well. Okay. Yeah, so um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free feel free to ask and uh, have a good day. Thanks.